Let's vein into the circulatory system. Understanding veins in English. Hello, language learners. Today, we're stepping into the fascinating world of health and wellness. More specifically, we're going to focus on the parts of the body associated with the circulatory system. And our main star today? It's none other than the veins. They play an important role in our bodies, so it's essential we know what they're called and how to describe them in English. Veins are blood vessels that carry blood toward the heart. They are a critical part of our circulatory system. Most veins carry deoxygenated blood from the tissues back to the heart. Exceptions are the pulmonary and umbilical veins, which carry oxygenated blood. Remember, the term vein in English does not only refer to the medical meaning. It can also mean a distinctive quality, a tendency, or a streak when used metaphorically. For example, a vein of humor in a book. We use various terms in English to describe the veins. Here are a few. 1. Blue or green. Veins often look blue or green under the skin, although the blood they carry is dark red. 2. Pulsing or throbbing. Sometimes, if blood is flowing quickly, you might feel a vein pulsing or throbbing. 3. Bulging. In people who exercise a lot or when you lift something heavy, veins might bulge out. So, we can describe veins as being blue veins, throbbing veins, or bulging veins, among others. Here are some terms related to veins. 1. Varicose veins. These are veins that have become enlarged and twisted, often appearing blue or dark purple. 2. Spider veins. These are smaller, red, purple, and blue vessels that also twist and turn, but are smaller than varicose veins. 3. Phlebology. This is the branch of medicine that deals with veins and their diseases. With these terms, you can discuss more complicated aspects of health related to veins in English. We've done an amazing journey into the circulatory system today, specifically focusing on veins. You now know what veins are, how to describe them in English, and some related vocabulary. Keep practicing these terms and using them in your daily conversations or writings. Stay tuned for our next English language learning video, where we will continue to explore the circulatory system. Until then, stay healthy and keep learning.